yeah what's up everybody so this is a tutorial on my new setup the first thing you want to make sure that you have is the homebrew channel installed on your Nintendo Wii system and if you don't have the homebrew channel installed on your Nintendo Wii system just go ahead and go to YouTube it takes like three minutes to install the homebrew channel so you want to make sure you have that first before you start my tutorial now if you have the homebrew channel the first thing you want to do is go to Wii options then Wii settings and you want to make sure you connect to Wi-Fi and you want to make sure you turn off we connect 24 so go ahead and turn off we connect 24 mine is already off and what we connect 24 does is if your Wii system is powered off it will automatically update by itself therefore erasing your hack so you want to make sure that is turned off now once you connect to Wi-Fi it's going to actually if you want to update go ahead and update now once all of that is done press the back button until you get back to the main menu. Now if you had a homebrew channel, go ahead and jump to the homebrew channel. Hit start. Now the first program you want to load is D2X CIOS installer. So you can press the plus and minus button to go left or right. Press A and go to load. Now installing this software is going to make you your system able to play Wii and GameCube games. So once it tells you at the bottom to press any button to continue, press A once. Now if you press A and your screen is still stuck on press any button to continue, your controller is probably not qualified for this modding part, but you still can use your controller when you play Wii and GameCube games, but it's not qualified or it's not compatible with the modding software. So right now I'm using a gold controller, you can use an original white controller, you can use an original red controller. Um, I'm not quite sure if I tried the blue, but you'll know if you're stuck on that screen, go ahead and try a different color controller. Now once you get to this part, you want to go right here and change the select CIOS D2X V6. You want to press right on your D-pad and change that to V10 Beta 53 D2X V10 Beta 53. Go ahead and go to the bottom, change the base to 57. Now keep everything normal, press A. Go to slot 236. Press A. Now your Wii system is able to play backup games just by doing this little part right here. So we're going to wait for this to finish, only take a couple seconds. Now my new setup is using both USB ports because I have so much content like anime, movies, um, GameCube games, Wii games, so I have to use both ports. Um, so this is going to help you get through that and you will be able to use both ports because I see a lot of people are having a lot of issues on YouTube with um, not being able to use both Nintendo Wii ports, but my tutorial is going to help you get through that and you will be able to use both ports. So once you get back to the slot screen, you want to go ahead and press B to exit out, which is the trigger button, and it should take you back to the homebrew channel. Now once you're done with that, you want to go right here to CIOS 222 installer V5, press A, and go to load. Now this is going to help you, will help your system play, use both USB ports. Okay, now you want to press A once. Press A again. Make sure it's selected on iOS 222. Default, press A. Press A again. And you got to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi on this part also. So now it says download complete. Do you want to install? Press 1 to install. And now both of your USB ports should be unlocked. So if you haven't uh, purchased my package, just uh, Google this app and just put it on your SD card and both of your USB ports should work after you install everything. So, And I'm sorry about the, the mic. I'm using my 4K uh, GoPro camera. Uh, my phone is cracked right now, so I just ordered um, a new one. So I apologize. Now once everything is done, it's going to take you back to the homebrew channel. Now we want to press the plus button. 
until you see, uh, let's see, what is the app? The app called We FC Challenge Installer. Now, if you purchase one of my anime package packages, you want to go right here to We MC Channel Installer, press A, and go to Load. And this app is uh, for you to play movies and uh, TV shows or whatever you uh, decide to put on your hard drive. So I already have it installed, but if you didn't have it installed, you'll hit right here where it says install. Mine says uninstall because I already have it installed. So I'm going to hit cancel. So take me back to the main menu. Now once you're done with that, you want to go right here to Wide Manager, hit load, and this is where you're going to go to install your app. So press A to continue. And like I said, if you cannot press A, use a different color controller. Press A again on iOS 249, press A again, press A again on Wii SD slot. Now you want to go right here to Forwarder Collection, press A, and you want to install Nintendo. Just press A to install. Now I have all this installed already, so make sure you install Nintendo for your GameCube games. Super Nintendo, USB loader, Wii 2600, Virtual Boy, Not 64, Game Boy Advance. And after you're done installing this right here, press B once. Press A one more time to go back. And now you want to go to a folder called WAD. Oh, there you go right there. Now press A on WAD. And you want to continue to install these apps right here. Now if you don't play this type of stuff, you don't have to install it. Like Proto64, uh, it's some old school emulator. Uh, you want to install Sega Genesis for sure. Uh, GX, Geo, you want to install that. Um, and the rest you can install if you want. Now I don't play most of this stuff except for Sega Genesis, Master System, and Main, and GX. So that's what I install, but you can install all of this. Now once you're done with everything, installing everything, press the home button and it's going to exit out completely. So you're done with all of that. Now let's say if you want to add a custom theme, you want to go right here to my menu, press A, hit load. Now it's mountain SD card and it's looking for my custom theme. Now I added a couple on here about 12 or 15 or something like that. But if you want to, at your own risk, you can add your own. Just go to Google and learn how to do it. So let's see, press the plus button. Okay, so now we're at the menu where my custom themes are. So press down on the D-pad and select whatever theme you want. Now if I want Smash Brothers, I just press A. Now it's going to change my uh, Nintendo Wii theme to Super Smash Brothers. Now it says press any button to return to system menu. And now it should have the Smash Brothers theme. <coughs> and now I have the Smash Brothers theme. I had Mario before. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to power off my system by holding the power button. Just to let all that stuff I just added set in. Now I'm going to turn my Wii system back on. And we're going to go ahead and jump into USB loader to see if everything pops up. Now go over here to USB loader. Press A, hit start. Now it's checking the hard drive. Now this is another custom theme. I'm going to show you guys how to add that also. Now you want to make sure that if you purchase one of my products, you want to make sure that you have the GameCube hard drive, GameCube and movie hard drive at the top port. So if your Nintendo Wii system is laying flat down, make sure your GameCube hard drive is in the top port and your Wii hard drive is at your bottom port because that's the way I have it set up on my SD card and if you have it in the wrong port the GameCube games won't show or the Wii games won't show it's one, it's one, it's one of those won't show up 
But since I have everything right, everything's showing up. Now, if it's showing that you only have uh, 1,000 plus Wii games, no GameCube games, go up here, make sure you have both selected, and hit OK. Now, if it's still not showing any of your GameCube games or your Wii games, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. So let me go ahead and change this. One second. I think I changed this by accident. Okay, there you go. So I wanted everything in ABC order. But if you want to like look for two player games, you could just hit right there where I just selected that. Hit right here. I'll keep hitting everything by mistake. So I apologize for this. I'm gonna hit it one more time. Now one more should take me back to ABC order. Now you don't have to do this, I just got stuck on this, so Okay, so now, like I've said before, if you cannot see your Wii games or your GameCube games, you want to make sure you go right here to your settings, go to loader settings, make sure your video mode is selected to force NTSC. You got to make sure that is set to that period, even if nothing's wrong with your games, make sure you set that to force NTSC. Now, if you um, plan on using cheats, turn this on right here. And you should be able to select your cheat menu when you select the game. So I'm going to turn mine off because I'm not a cheater. You feel me? Um, but you want to make sure your loader iOS is at 222. And your game iOS is at 249. Now once that's done, press B. Now you want to go to hard drive settings. And make sure that you have multiple partitions on USB ports, both ports, and mount USB at lunch on. So make sure it's set up like that. Now once that's done, press the plus button. Not the plus button, the B button. Now you want to go to the right, press the plus button to go to your right. Go to custom pass. Now you want to press down on the D-pad and you want to go to uh, main GameCube path. Press A. And now I have mine selected on the right path. But say if your GameCube games are not popping up, go right here to SD, press A on it, and you see it's going to change path. Just keep pressing A until you see the games folder right there. You'll see the games folder right there. So you want to select games, press A once, and then hit OK. Now your custom path is set, and everything should be good. You should see everything, your GameCube, Wii games, everything. So press B once, and now I'm going to show you how you change your theme. Go right here to the uh, theme menu. Press A. Now you can pick any theme. This is all I put on here. Press the plus button to go to the next page. You got a war. They got the Lego Batman theme. Press the plus button. The PS4 theme, One Piece theme. Now if I want to select this right here, press A. Hit apply. Select yes. Press B to go all the way back to the beginning. And now you should see your Wii games, GameCube games with a new theme. Now let's say if your uh, uh, GameCube or Wii games doesn't have images, because these games are new so I didn't have a chance to add images yet, press the plus button. Not the press plus button, I'm sorry. The, the number one button on your Wii controller. So if you use your Wii controller, press the number one button. Now it's going to ask you what kind of covers you want to download. So I'm going to select 3D covers. Just make sure you have 3D covers selected. Hit OK. And this is going to take a while because I have so many games on here now. I never had this many games ever. So it said that you, you are missing 574 files. So select yes and what it's going to do is it's going to connect to Wi-Fi, download the images for you from the internet and once it's complete you're going to hit done and you should have all your images set and ready to go. So I'm going to do that later because I'm trying to get through this tutorial so I'm going to press the home button, select Wii menu and I'm going to show you guys how to use the old school games and then that's it, I'm done. Now let's say Game Boy Event. Hit start.
Now, the Game Boy Advance emulator has Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color games, Game Boy games. It has everything. And it has all the images for all the games. So, I'm going to hit up one level. So, these are your games right here. You have uh, Game Boy Advance games, Numbers to K, L to Z. You have Game Boy um, Black and White, and you have Game Boy Color. So now let's say you don't see any of this because you got lost or you made a mistake and and just got corrupted or something ha happened with your SD card because I, I'm seeing it a lot. You want to go right here to settings. <coughs> you want to go right here to saving and loading. And you want to make sure your says the same thing as mine right here. So for you that's having the trouble of not seeing your Wii games, not your Wii games, but your Game Boy Advance games, I'm tripping right now. Yeah, it's late, and I think it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'm messing up right now. But if yours doesn't say this, just press A on low folder and change your layout to what everything says on the screen right now. And then you should be able to see your cover. So once everything is done, hit go back, and then you should see your Game Boy Advance games and images. So I'm going to select right here, and I'm going to select the Game Boy Advance game. It has so many two and ones. Oh my god. Try to select the normal Game Boy Advance game. Okay, so I'm going to select this game right here. Turn my control sideways. And that's it. It's that simple. Now you can save your game progress also, or you can quit by pressing the home button. Save your progress, or go to the main menu, hit OK. And I'm going to hit exit. And that's how you use your Game Boy Advance game. Now Nintendo. I'm going to hit start. And you can use your classic Wii controller and GameCube controller for the USB loader or for the um, Game Boy Advance games, Wii games, and so on. Just make sure, like right now where I'm at, make sure you have your GameCube controller plugged in and put down your Wii controller and use your GameCube controller to select the game so it recognizes it early so you won't have any issues. Now if you press down on D-pad you're going to see every Nintendo game. They all have images so you don't have to worry about that. Now the rest of the Nintendo games will be right here and up one level. Oh never mind. That must be Super Nintendo. So I, I think all the Nintendo games are all in one folder here. Yep. There you go, A to Z, so if you want to play a Nintendo game, let's say Tetris, I guess, just choose a game and the game plays normal, so <laughs> no lag, no issues at all. Now, if you plan on using uh, the GameCube controller that plugs into the bottom of the Nintendo Wii controller, you know, the newer GameCube controllers for Wii U, if you plan on using that, it's a, I'll say it's like a, a two-second lag in each game when you play Nintendo. It's a two-second lag. So it's better to play with a GameCube controller or your original Wii controller. Now I'm going to hit Main Menu, and I'm going to exit out, and that's how you use Nintendo. <coughs> now let's go ahead let's jump into Super Nintendo I'm going to hit start now this is the app that you have to go into a different folder to play the rest of the game for some odd reason so if I hit up one level see it has in two different folders you have 505 in uh, number 2M and you have 499 and Z so I'm going to select this right here, press down on the D-pad, I'm going to select Bubsy, turn my controller sideways, and like I said, you can use any controller. And if you want to quit, same thing, or save it, press the home button.
you can save the game progress. And if you don't like the way your controllers are set, you can change that also. So, you know. So, I'm going to hit main menu, hit OK, and I'm going to hit exit. And that's how you use your modded Wii system if you purchase the setup for me. So, you know. Now, I apologize for all, you know, the messing up. It's about 3 in the morning, and I'm just trying to freestyle and go 17 minutes long, 20 minutes long. But, yeah, so if you guys got any issues, just hit me up on Facebook. If you got my card, you got my number, so text me. Um, or um, hit me up on YouTube. This is your boy, Jamari Trail, and I'm out.